Hi, welcome to another video. So, I've been using Google's Notebook LM lately, just because it's really fun to use, especially the audio podcast feature. I even made a video on it in the Members Only section. But sometimes, I feel like maybe there could be a tool that lets me do the same thing, but with custom prompts. Notebook LM is fully on autopilot and does things on its own without taking my prompts or anything. So, basically, it's good. But if it gave me a little more customizability, I'd use it even more. And recently, I found out about something that actually does that, and it's called Metaskepsis. Metaskepsis is an open-source project that essentially creates podcasts from simple PDFs, like what Notebook LM does. But one thing that makes it even better is that once it generates the podcast for you, you can give feedback on what you'd like improved for the next version. It'll then take that feedback and make the system's prompts better for everyone, including you. So, the next time you generate a podcast, it will be even better. And because it's open source, you can host it locally with your API keys and keep giving it feedback prompts to make it perfect for your use, which is amazing. So, let's first go to their demo site over here. It's free to use without any apparent limits, and you don't need to sign in or anything like that. So, just head to the site. Now, here we can just upload the PDF we want to convert. Let's upload this simple PDF, which is a research paper about Mora. Once you upload it, just click the Create option, and it will start converting it into a podcast. Once done, you'll see two versions here. One is a random generation, which I believe comes from a random prompt in the history of enhancements, and the other is from the latest enhanced prompt. Both are good. Let me let you hear 30 seconds of each one. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our show today. I'm thrilled to have with us the innovative mind behind some exciting advancements in video generation, Infinity. Thanks for having me, Sophos. It's a pleasure to be here. So, Infinity, let's dive right in. Imagine if you could paint a picture with words, and just like magic, that picture comes to life as a video. That's what Mora is all about, isn't it? Absolutely. Mora is like a digital artist's palette. But instead of paint, you use text and images to create stunning videos. Welcome, everyone. I'm thrilled to have you join us today. We're diving into a fascinating topic, video generation through AI. Infinity, can you share what's got you excited about this? Absolutely, Sophos. Imagine this. You're sitting at your desk, brainstorming ideas for a video. Instead of spending hours filming or editing, you simply describe your vision and voila, a stunning video materializes before your eyes. That's the magic of Mora a new multi-agent framework that's shaking things up in the video creation world. That's a so, these are the generations. They sound really realistic. But I like the last podcast better. So, let's tell it that this is better. Now you can give feedback on how it can be improved. I'd say that the length could be enhanced. Let's send that now. Once you do, the system's prompt will be updated to include your feedback making it better for the next user, and you as well, which is pretty amazing. So, that's cool. The front end for this app was also created using Ader, which is awesome. And the developer mentioned me on the front page, which is also pretty cool. It's great to see people building such impressive tools with AI these days. Anyway, aside from this, you can also host it locally and customize it just for yourself. To do that, just clone it to your computer. Once you've done that, go inside the folder, create an ENV file, and enter your OpenAI key, since it uses OpenAI's API for both speech and text generation. Once that's done, you can run this command to start the web UI and use it easily. You can also use the command line tools for batch tasks and things like that. That's basically how you use it. I really like it because it's free and works extremely well. You can also host it locally and have something similar to Notebook LM, 
which is awesome. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below. Or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.